Hello YouTube, today I got you guys something new. I will be VOD reviewing the top one support in the world. Most of you already know him, his name is ML7, he also streams, and uh, his main hero is Anna. And we're gonna analyze why he's so good. And if you play close attention by the end of this video, you might be able to learn a few things. You might be able to apply on your gameplay those things. Basically, you're learning from the top one player, right? We're going to analyze why he is top one. And he has been top one for so many seasons. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the section, on the comments down below. If you want to add anything, something that I didn't saw. Or if you did enjoy the video, so I can make more. Maybe the next time I can make the top one DPS or the top one tank. Let me know your opinion. We're going to review why. Why is he top one? Why is he one of the best and as if not the best. The first thing that I noticed that he does a lot in queues, when he goes to comp on his main account, he practices aim. And that's what he's doing here. He practices aim, right? As you can see, he's practices tracking right now. Okay, he's gonna play Anna on, on King's Row. And he's gonna do something that, it, that shows how his mentality is, right? And he's going to be the difference maker when it comes to climbing with any hero. And in this case, the mentality of a top one player, okay? <clears throat> he's dueling with also the top one DPS. I actually uploaded this game because I'm, I'm actually on this game too with him. Okay, he's playing with Amora. Now he's just talking to his chat. Look what he does here. Also, look... Look what the whole team is doing here. The first thing that I see that it does well, do you guys notice? Look where it is. And this is a big different maker. How many Amnas do you see high ground on King's Row? Usually they hold the bottom right, right? Okay, he's gonna be, see, he's gonna be proactive. He's gonna peek with the sleep dart because he knows that Widow's peak there, right? If you play Anna, why not do that? He's proactive with his abilities. Come on, mom, just let me out. That's simple. Okay, something that he does good here, as I did, as I said before, is he holds high ground. Because we have ball, and that's mean. You see how he position is really good. He's not bottom on point. And this is big different maker. If, if it's a, a Ana that is low division, do you know what Ana over the division is going to say? She's going to get roll bottom and she's going to blame the ball. What the fuck ball? We don't have a tank. Swap ball, swap ball. No, he adapt. Okay, we have ball. No problem. I'm going to go high ground because if I stay low ground, I'm going to get rushed. His first attitude is to adapt. It's not to... He doesn't wait for other people to 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 carry him or, or to do to like he doesn't blame he adapts to the situation whenever he dies he probably he probably died a couple of times while being bottom with the ball so what did he say to himself you know what i'm gonna hold high ground so i don't care rush bottom because no one is there my tank is is scouting right now and is engaged on choke that's the first thing that i see that he does really well so if you're an main stop complaining about the balls in your team and just adapt <laughs> just adapt anna has range like, she's really good at doing that. Look, even the Mora is high ground. See? Look at the Mora. The Mora is high ground. The Mora has no range. I mean, she does have a little bit of range. But she's mostly close range to heal, right? But look at the Mora. She's high ground. Position. You see the top one mentality? Come on. Two more pushes. <laughs> he was also very active with his sleep right away and his ability. He doesn't stay there because he doesn't have abilities, right? Do you see how he peeks? He uses a nade, hide right away. He also uses quick scope. And now he hides. He knows. Do you see how, how he's very aware that the Junkrat is right side? If it was other Anna, would be like, what the fuck? Junk is flanking. No, he didn't have the abilities. He backed up. He hide behind corners. He's using the high ground. And he's also shot calling. He also, I think he also pinged the Junkrat. You see that? He knows that the junk is there. He's not going to face tank him and die. He's the support. He's pinging. 
and quick scope. You see that he uses a lot of quick scope. A quick scope allows you to be very aware of your surroundings. Like, and he's not, he's not even fully, fully focused. This game is going to play really well, but he's not fully, fully focused because he's streaming and he's talking with chat a lot. Again, once again, he was proactive with his abilities, right? He has a nade, he looks to, to use it. They don't have dive, the game is like resetting, he's going to have it again. He did drop. He did drop because he felt like I was pushing a little bit to the buzz. Again, Proact never do it the sleep. Look, look how he uses cover. Do you see that? Instead of going all the way right side, he's using this cover. Do you see that? He, he, he pushed with the team when the team was pushing because we we're snowballing, right? But then he backs up. Game sent. He backed up. And now he uses this corner because he knows that the junk is there. He also pinged the junk. Always use quick scope. They have some, but now again, he's again, once again, he's going to adapt his position. He's going to back up. Quick scoping, always aware of his surroundings. Leap dart. Yeah, they have Zen. And this is, look, look how he's backing up. He doesn't stay and die. He knows that the whole team is dead. So he keeps backing up. Look, look how he adapts his position. Fell asleep, unlucky. <laughs> See, it happens to the best. It happens to the best of us. Just because you're top one, that doesn't mean you're not going to fail sleeps or fail nades. Hello, buggy. Using cover. See, he's not looking like he never... Something that he does really good is he never just scope in and stay shooting the team. You know those horses that... They have something in their heads that they only see in front of them. He never does that. He always looks around to see who's low, right? He's always aware of what's going on. Very important with Anna. Okay. So, something, one of the biggest mistakes that I see Anna Main's doing, and I can say this because I did not rank to GM, so I feel like I have the basics of her. Something that Anna Main's do wrong, most of them, is they're very very passive with their nanos right now he knows there is no clear nano target besides the ball like ball a good nano target is a character that can go win right either that or a defense ulti but defense ulti usually are very um you save a lot of ultimate time right and ml7 as a good nano player is very active he sees me going in he nanos he also uses the option of confirming nano which i recommend it's gonna take a while to get used to it but I recommend you using that option. You can check that options on Anna. You see how it adapts? He doesn't stay far back holding a corner without no impact. He pushed a little bit because he saw his tank pushing a bit. But now he backs up again. You see this? You see how he adapts his position really well? Also, his aim is always on point, by the way. He barely misses. And he's all about aim. Again, proactive us with the sleep. Why is he being proactive as, proactive with the sleep? Look how he used corners too. He didn't die to the MP that. You guys saw that? He's proactive with the sleep. Because he knows he's not getting dove that much. Because his position is really good. The somebody's is going to be all trying to hack me. He's not on earth. So he knows that. So he's being proactive with his ability. Again. More proactive with his abilities. Do you see that? He's adapting his... Do you see how he's always close? He always keep, keeps mid-long range. He never stays too close. Oh, no. <clears throat> the Samba flanked him. He missed the slip. He's just unlucky. <clears throat> never misses aim. Yeah, 
He's thinking about pushing there, but he knows that someone is left side. Do you see that? This is also a game sense. So he was thinking about pushing over that choke, but he knows that pushing that would be too dangerous. And he also knows that someone is left side because someone left side just killed one of his teammates. So he doesn't push. He stays far back because someone can flank him from left side. He always, he always prioritize his HP, his, his life. He's never going to give his life for free. He's more. As you can see, it's been like five, six minutes. And he's the only one on the team that hasn't died yet, I believe. Got blown away. Sadly, he cannot uh, heal that. When he's closer to the enemy, more closer because he pushed me. Do you see how he backs up? He does use known scope. He doesn't scope if they're super close. He's thinking about nanoing me here, which is the right uh, decision so we can test. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Look at his position, chat. He's never too close. Do you see that? He can heal from far away. Look how he's holding a corner. Do you see that? Look, if he's not holding a corner, he dies to the junk right there. It looks for a knight. It's a weird position, but it kind of saved him. Look, look, look how much the fight is lasting because of the good position that he has. Do you see the junk trying to kill him? But because his position is so good, his position is so good, he didn't die. And he backs up. The fight is over. Now he might die. This is his first death. It's now he's going to press. Do you see that? He's the only one that has one death. Look at that. Look how much healing he has. He never died. This is literally his first death. And he was trying to survive, and it almost did it. If the diva or the junk, one of them, don't push there, I think he survives. Look, this is interesting. So, something that he also does that many of us don't do, including me sometimes. He pressed tab. Look how he's analyzing to himself. He's telling himself, mm, should I swap? Should I, what should I do here? And he looked at his comp, and he saw that Anna is still good, especially after I picked Zarya. It's winnable. It is See, and he always keeps a positive mind. He's telling to himself, he's telling, it's winnable, it's winnable, it's fine. Yeah, it is three minutes on the last point, but you never know. Like, you should always be positive, always know that it's possible to win, it's possible to, world, to hold five minutes, you never know. Overwatch is a very snowbally game sometimes. It's a live video. It is a live video. Always prioritizes healing. What the hell team? Unlucky. I think the bop made a mistake there. It saved me there so bad. Look how he's healing me behind the corner. You see how he's using corners there? The diva pushed me, uh, push him, and he backed up, right? Now he has nano again. Confirmation. Now once he gets nano, do you see how he always prioritizes to use his ulti? He never holds it. Like, if you're on a main, stop holding your ulti. I mean, you shouldn't waste it, but right now, it's the perfect moment. He always looks... He doesn't wait and... And da 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 who should I nano? He already knows that Nano Zarya is OP. He, he naded... You see how he went for an active nade? Because... The, um, the BAP window, he knows that everyone is going to be there shooting through the window, so he's through the name. So, okay, always prioritize his position, never miss his aim. Look, this is something that he does really good. He didn't have the nade yet, and once he gets act, look how he runs away into a corner. So he doesn't die, and he waits for the cooldown on the nade. Look, look at it. Do you see that? Right. Anna would have tried to one verse one, but because he knows he doesn't have the nades, he goes into a corner. Corners are so broken, especially to Anna. Anna is so tiny. Her hitbox is so good to hide. Look, he's pressing tab to see who's alive. Also very important, right? When a fight is over, sometimes there is always someone that sneaks up. Nah, I'm still keeping Anna. He's always think if he needs to swap too, although his main character is Anna, he always thinks if he needs to swap too, right? Right here, like, he saw that I 
I didn't do much with Nano. That's me, by the way, on Zarya. I didn't kill anyone with Nano. But he's not worried about it. He even compliments me, saying that's okay. You create space, right? Again, the positive of a top one player. The mentality of a top one player. He destroyed the lamp there. Like, Anna can... Through. He's very aware of the nade, right? Again, the position. Look how he's using that specific pillar to dodge any shots that Chunkrat might throw. He, tr he naded me and the tank. Super strong nade. Look how between shots he also tries to shoot the enemy, right? If he can. A good Anna always tries to do both. If no one is low or no one is like super critical, why not shoot? Again, he doesn't stay far back. Snowballing the fight. He doesn't stay far back, he pushes. Adapting the position. He's not starting far back, just shooting. And now he backs up again, you see like? Big night too. He says, he says pre preemptively that he's gonna nano me, right? Which is pretty important. A nano target, like, if you don't want to use voice, you can always spam. But because Zarya is I charge, he's, he's thinking about nanoing me. Because one of the biggest mistakes that Tana make again, they don't plan the nano, so they save it a lot. But now he knows, he's thinking about nanoing me, right? And now he gets look, this is very this is very strong. It's last fight. He didn't nano me right away. What he did was he naded the enemy tank and then nano me, so he has such a huge impact on the enemy tank so he dies. If you have a nades and you have a nano, why not use that combo? Nade the entire enemy team and then nano, because it's almost guaranteed you're gonna win the fight. Hey, what the fuck? Look, still playing around corners. Do you see that? You know, they, they have double sniper. Look how he plays around corners. Proactive, proactive. Big slip. Corners. Look, look how safe he's playing. See that? He gets pushed. He gets pushed. Look, look that, that was an insane play. Although we had a peak, he never, he never actually over pushed and was overconfident because of how much damage they had. Good. Wait, I only died once. What the hell? Morgan's such a cool dude. Agreed. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ML7. How long did it take you to get Low buggy. No, no, no. Sorry, chat. I'm, I'm so focused. Still taking time. Oh, come on, Johnny Cake. You're making me blush. Why the ML815? <clears throat> what do you mean? We're going to see an insane sleep dart. When ML7 is on, Adana become a prime mate oh, rather than the, the old one we have now. <laughs> True. A killer redeem VOD review. We can do it. We can do it after one game if that's okay. After this one, I can do one game and then we can do the VOD review, okay? Well, <clears throat> exactly. Also, lots of ways to escape if he does get dove. Yeah. One of the most important things, like there is a reason, chat, why he's one death. There is a reason why he has one death. Corners. Corners. He plays cover every time, no matter what. But that doesn't mean he stays static, Anna. If the team is pushing, he pushes with the team, right? If the enemy team is pushing, he backs up. He adapts to what's going on in the moment, but always with that awareness that he can die at any moment. Okay, again, the proactive throwing an aid. He's going to look for a sleep tight. You see that? Why not? Again, he's not getting pushed a lot. So he's, he's using very actively the nades. He adapts, right? He's going to go all the way far back again to get max range using cover. Look, he does something really good there. Do you see how he waited for the matrix? He waited for the matrix. And because he doesn't have the nade for himself, he used cover there. He's going to nade himself, I think. Yeah, because that's Sombra. He knows that uh, he knows that the Junkrat is left side, right? Pings him. He's gonna look for a sleep. 
pressure him. He tried to pressure him, right? Always shooting, always shooting. I fed there. <clears throat> look how he's backing up because he knows his tank is down, right? But once he has that cooldown, look. He has that cooldown, look. He, although it failed, he looked for proactive plays, right? If he lands a sleep on someone that, he can carry. The more sleeps you throw, the, the, the higher chance you, you have of uh, carrying a fight. He knows, look how he's positioning himself. You know why he's in this specific place? I think he knows that junk might come from left side. Now, actually, he sees the junk main. Now he adopts his position again. Use confirm nano. Do you see that? He has nano, he uses it. He doesn't wait, he doesn't wait too long. Look, he hears, look, he hears the tire chat. Although we were one up, Look, look, look at his position, look at his position. Do you think, do you think we would have won? Do you think we would have won this game if his position was bad? He heard the tire, he backed up. The heavy MP, he backs up. He knows that if he's behind, he goes around the corner. <laughs> Unlucky. I did bubble him, I think. Oh, I, I did bubble him, but um, yeah, that was unfortunate. That was very well played by Dana, by the Diva. It's okay. He goes next, right? It's just unlucky. He's not too. He's not too mad about what happened, right? He analyzed what happened in his mind, and he, he just felt like it was an unlucky play. He did everything he could, which is this. In this case, he's playing around corners against Diva Bomb. Do you see how the diva wasn't able to kill her right away? Look at look at his position. Look at him. Shoot, shoot, shoot. The whole like sometimes as Anna, you don't need to heal if you can't shoot if the team is not super critical. Look, Anna's job staying point, right? He doesn't push with the team because he knows there is an objective. He gets ulti so fast. That's another factor. Yeah, he's always he's always doing something. Even if when the team is resetting. Wait, is that at edge? <laughs> Unlucky. Fuck. That was a nice shot. shot. <laughs> My team is all pushed up, dude. My team is all pushed up. <laughs> it, it, it happens. He was reading chat. You see that he identify he identify when he died. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's being ironic, by the way. He's be, he's being ironic. But ident he identified the problem why he died. Obviously, was being ironic about his team. But but he said that he was seeing his chat, right? So he identifies the reason why he died, which is something that you can do also in your games. When you die, identify one thing that you could have done better. <clears throat> This is kind of AFK gameplay because it's King's Row and you have to be on point as Anna. He has Nano. So look, this is something that he does really good. Do you see that? He's planning the Nano chat. Top one Anna plans the Nano. Why shouldn't you be doing it too? Plan your Nanos. He knows that I'm not high charge, so he might not Nano me here. It, you can know if someone is high charged by the color of the Zarya, okay? If she's glowing, you're, she's probably high charged. See that? The, his duo asked for Nano, so he Nano's him. He didn't Nano me right away because I wasn't high charged. Otherwise, he would. But also, but also, the Soldier had, had. That's why he pressed tap too. Since the Soldier had Dulti, that was another reason why she didn't Nano Zarya. Look how she backs up. She doesn't stay on point. She doesn't stay in danger. She backs up. She's always shooting. The team might need a little bit of heals, but he prioritizes shooting. You don't need to heal everyone that is full, that like has 10 damage on their HP. He pushes a little bit here. I don't think no, no one is pushing the point. Look, he looks for a nade, right? Yeah, someone is pushing the point. But again, the proactives. He looks for a nade. He looks for a sleep.
quick scoping, reloading. He reloads when the fight is not started, right? He wants to be full loaded. He backed up again. He adapted his position again. Back up. Ping. He pings a lot. Something that I need to do. He bubbled. He bubbled after. I mean, he naded after he saw the bubble, right? Once, once ML7 hears a tire, he backs up. He doesn't stay trying to kill the tire. He backs up while looking where the tire is because he can destroy it. But he always adapts. Widow, look how he's crouching. You see that? Look how he's crouching, trying to one versus one the Widow. He's not super scared. He crouch, he, he scopes. You can outplay the Widow. He nades on the corner. He knows that the nade is going to reach because he knows the AoE. As Nano, use it. He doesn't save it. As Nano, he use it. He doesn't save it. And there you go. And there you go, chat. That is the top one on uh, gameplay and all the things that they do well. Ask yourself, why can't you do the same? Can't you, like, back up when you need to back up? Can't you have better position? Maybe you won't have a, a, an insane aim as good as him. Maybe you won't have an insane game sense. But, but thrive to be like him. Copy the good things that I talked in, his, in this review. And you will become... Maybe you'll not become a top one, Anna. But maybe you will come from diamond to masters. Maybe from masters to GM. Maybe from silver to gold. I can guarantee you, if you apply the things that I talked about that it does good in this video, which is pretty much like the basics, it did other things that maybe are more and more detailed, but the things that I talk about, they're basics. You can do it too, and if you do it, you will climb. I hope you guys enjoy chat.